Hi guys, Steph here. What we've got for you today is another gorgeous pen. Now, this is one of a number of pens that came to me for a service. Um, this one's actually finished. We're actually waiting for the other two to be done. But what we have here is a lovely Osmia Supra fountain pen. Now, this particular one is the Osmer, Osmia Supra 74 which we'll show you in a moment now unfortunately you'll have to bear with me i don't know too much about this particular manufacturer the osmia but well i believe they're actually german made i believe this particular pen could be from as early as about the 1930s maybe even the 1940s now i am a, well i have actually done a little bit of reading what i can actually find is that um, around about the 1950s the Osmia company were actually bought by Faber Castell so the pens sort of 1950s later had uh, Faber Castell on the particular pen so but this one as I'll show you in a moment just simply says Osmia Supra um, again it's made from this black chased I'm not too sure of the material whether it's a black hard rubber um, but it has this lovely um, sort of chase pattern if I can show you there like so absolutely lovely example um, the size of this pen from the top of the barrel sorry from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel is approximately 122 millimeters capped around the diameter here around about 12 millimeters in diameter as we'll show you this one is a piston filler um, it comes with gold fill trim, you can see it's got this quite a standard um, cap band to the bottom there. It's got this very nice, I think a very attractive clip to the top there with the word Osmia to the very top. And you can see it's got this sort of black cap stud to the top there. All in all, a very nice pen. Let's show you the, the barrel imprint. So there you can see it says Osmia Supra and then to the end of the barrel there it's obviously got the the model number which is 74 and then underneath there we've got BBL now the BBL I believe uh, relates to the nib um, on this one I believe it's a broad uh, left footed oblique nib so I believe that's what the BBL stands for. Now the Osmia pens they were made in lots and lots of different designs, different patterns and different um, different trim etc. So I'm not obviously going to go into that because to be honest with you I'm not aware of them. <laughs> but uh, again we're just going to simply concentrate on this particular pen. So let's unscrew the cap and let's show you the pen in different angles. A lovely lovely example again in lovely condition again this one's been serviced um, and as we'll show you in a moment hopefully it's ready to go you can see this particular model has the sort of the greenish ink view ink view window there now if we show you the top there you can see the section is a quite a smooth section and then if we show you the nib Let's keep it nice and still. You see it's got the Osmia symbol which is like a triangle with a, inside the circle to the top there. And the nib actually says Osmia Supra. Let's try and give it a close up. Let's just see if you can see the oblique nib. I'm hoping you can actually sort of just make that out. You can see it's got a left handed oblique to it. And if we turn it round there you can see it's got this very nice feed to the back. This comb feed. And let's give you a sideways view. And well, hopefully you've uh, you've sort of noticed that what we've got here is a stainless steel nib. Now, again, with some of these models, I believe they also have um, gold nibs, etc. This particular one, as we've said, is a stainless steel. This one is a piston filler, which means what we do is simply unscrew the blind cap like so. And again, you can see the sort of the turning knob to the bottom there. And what we do is by simply turning it, hopefully you'll be able to see the piston move in the uh, ink view there. You can see the piston moving up and down inside there. Um, 
originally what these pens had they had a cork seal on the piston um, what I've actually done is I've replaced this this particular one with um, rubber o-rings so as opposed to the original cork cork seal we've got o-rings fitted on this particular pen let's bring on some ink now as always this is the first time I've tested it since since I've restored it or serviced it so let's dip the ink in the nib let's see so we can see what's actually happening no you can't actually see because it's too too far so what we need to do first of all let's turn the piston all the way down like so as far as it'll go and then let's draw it back in again okay so what we'll do let's leave it at that because it's only for a for a writing sample but let's just show you now so hopefully you can see now that we've got ink within the ink view ink view section there let's put the the top back on let's bring some some paper and let's do a writing a writing sample so what we've got here is a an osmia as we said this one is the the supra and it's a number 74 it's actually a very nice writer it's a nice smooth writer <coughs> excuse me there's there's actually some flexibility within the nib so on the downward stroke there you can see we're getting a nice variation in the line so on a cross stroke it's quite a fine line and as I say on the downward stroke we're getting a lovely variation so there's a writing sample you can see a lovely variation in the line so it is an oblique nib and there is a little bit of flexibility within this this stainless steel nib um, one of the things I've actually read as well is that the the word supra I'm not too sure if that actually relates to I've read that some people said it relates to the flexibility of the nib I've also read that some people say the super super relates to the the filling mechanism which this one being uh, the piston filler but all in all we'll uh, we'll leave it at that as I say what we've got is an Osmia Supra 74 with this gold fill trim in this in this lovely sort of black chased pattern which goes along the barrel and the cap as well it, with gold fill trim it's a piston filler and again we're dating it sort of I don't know maybe the 1930s 1940s so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen again as always as much as I love showing them to you people don't forget down there is for comments press this button here to subscribe but for now I'll just say bye bye now